Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays, and today on the Quick Draw, it's all about getting more of that good stuff when we take a look at the Spear of Pride. Okay, so let's be absolutely real here. I think that all of us nearly had a moment with the initial stats for the Spear of Prime were released. Like, literally, my gag reflex came back for a hot minute. With less crit and less base damage at its base, the Spear of Prime was only marginally better than the classic, and actually fell behind when the appropriate critical mods were equipped. However, with the most recent patch, DE Scott has come in with a critical stat boost that'll leave you spinning. Now, you can pick up the Spear of Prime somewhere in the void. Where you ask, I have no god damn clue, however, the Warframe Wikia does, so I'll leave a link to the drop tables down below. Because let's face it, the new star chart is on its way and you damn well know I'll forget to annotate this when it comes out. Now, its primary damage type is Puncture, with a small splash of slashing and impact. As we know, Puncture is fantastic when you want to penetrate an armored unit. However, it does suffer resistances with all types of shielding, so be sure you're using the appropriate elements of combo in order to deal the optimal amount of damage. Okay, so let's do a real quick run through of its updated stats. First and foremost, its base damage is down, with the classic version's base at 55, while the prime variant sits at 47. However, the rest of its stats more than make up for this fact. Both its critical chance and critical multiplier gain a 5% boost, which pair quite well with the secondary's prime critical mods. With its base now at 30%, it has the highest critical chance of all secondaries, and when equipped with a prime pistol gambit, it shoots up to an 86.1% chance to crit. It's also got an increased fire rate, a very sexy reload speed at 0.8 seconds as well as an extra two unicorn horns in the clip. Meaning that not only will this thing be doing a ton of critical damage, but its overall sustained damage has improved as well. Now, while the Spirit Prime is quite sexy, do keep in mind that it has the same faults as the rest of the throne category. Its projectiles have a flight time and flight arc. Also bear in mind that these do fire in a triangle pattern like the classic Spira and Kunai, with the first shot following the reticule, while the second and third following below and to either side of the reticule. Now, if you're an avid throwing weapon user, this should be no surprise to you, as well it's better mechanically it's more of the same. Now speaking of the same but better, can we talk? Okay, so as you all know, I am not one to get all up in arms about things. I tend to trust the developers and I'm happy as fuck that they did something about this one because legitimately, the Spira was a pretty bland weapon. It's pretty, but let's face it, the only thing that it really had going for it was the fact that it was the only crit-based throwing knife. So when the Spira Prime was released and it had even less crit, I had to hold myself for a bit. Because we expect these souped up iterations to be bigger and better than the original. I mean, wouldn't you be pissed off if your ass went to Jack in the Box and picked up the ultimate cheeseburger just to find out that there isn't any cheese on it? Or if you pre-ordered the special edition of a video game just to find out that they removed characters specifically for that version? It's like downloading a copy of Cum Guzzlers 2016, the Extreme Edition, and there ain't a drop of semen in sight. I mean, seriously, this is the Extreme Edition. That shit better be all over the place. On the walls, on the floors, on the bottoms, on the tops, inside the motherfucking microwave, I mean everywhere. You either go hard or you go home. Okay, maybe I got a little carried away with that one. Let's just get back to the quick draw. So all in all, I am quite happy with the Spirit Prime. I really like the fact that unlike the Hiku's Prime variant, you're not relying on a literal hailstorm of steel to do your damage. The fire rate is a lot more manageable and you won't be burning through as much ammunition to take out your targets, as long as you keep in mind its firing pattern, which is probably its biggest downside. However, on a more positive note, the Spear of Prime does come with two innate V polarities, which definitely helps big time as this is going to require a forma intensive crit build in order to make the most out of it. Because as we know, those Prime mods are not easy on the mod capacity. But let's face it, you gotta put in a bit of effort if you're looking for a good drilling. So thank you all for watching another episode of The Quick Draw. If you haven't already caught it, be sure to check out the other two pieces from this Prime Access, the Nakana Prime and Saren Prime herself. Now, don't forget to do all the things that I ask you to do at the end of every one of these. And as always, there is no excuse not to go hard here at A Gay Guy Plays. See, I like casting Saren's molt on the run because it sounds kind of like she tooted and she left a little fart cloud there. Look at it. <laughs>